And now injuries are starting to add up. When you look at the Dallas Cowboys right now, they are a team that is struggling on the surface. They are a team that has surface level issues and they need to be addressed. They don't have inner fighting. They don't have ownership issues or general manner issues, whatever. It is a surface level issue. So with that being said, is it time to panic in Dallas? Is it time to sound the alarms and say, hey, we have a problem. We have a problem. We have a problem. Now, as we said, in Dallas, they are in a bad way right now. They're in a bad way. They have injuries piling up. Demarcus Lawrence is now on the IR. Micah Parsons is doubtful for this for this weekend's game. Jordan Phillips is now on the IR. Kalen Car- uh, Carson is now questionable. Darrell Johnson is on the IR. Dallas Cowboys for the front seven is all on, 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 on IR. And the season-ending IR. Season-ending IR. Brandon Cooks will be out this week as well with the infection in his knee that he had that he had drained. Obviously, the Dallas Cowboys cannot stop the run. They cannot rush the ball. And look who the and look who the Dallas Cowboys have coming up next. They do play the Pittsburgh Steelers, averaging 128 rushing yards per game. That's the worst of the next five. Then they play at the Detroit Lions, averaging 151 yards rushing per game. And thankfully, thankfully, they got a bye week. Whew. Thank Lord for the bye week. But then they play the San Francisco 49ers. Even without CMC, they're still averaging 141 yards rushing per game. And then the following week, they play the Atlanta Falcons. B. John Robertson, one of the top running backs in the NFL right now. The Falcons as a whole is averaging 102 yards rushing per game. Guys, the Dallas Cowboys are in a world of hurt. The Dallas Cowboys are in a world of hurt right now. But is is it time to panic? Is it really, really time to panic in Dallas? And I have to say yes. It is 100% time to panic in Dallas Cowboys mode. They should be pushing the panic button as hard as they can. They need to figure something out right now. They have a defense that is built to play from the lead. Right now, they haven't had a lead all season long. Yes, versus the Browns, they 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 came out and they fired early, but fell down early to the Saints, fell down early to the Ravens. Hell, they were losing to the Giants. Luckily, they they, they were to, they, they, they were they were able to muster a com comeback. But it is time to panic in Dallas. They need to make a move. They need to make a move. They need to trade for Travis Etienne. They need to travel for Bigsby. Maybe Rashad Stevenson's from the uh, Pittsburgh or from the uh, New England Patriots since he just got got benched. Maybe Cam Akers. Maybe elevate Delvin Cook. They need to figure out something on the running game. They need to get a running back. Sorry, Zeke. I love you. Love you like a brother. Fuck you like a sister. But at the end of the day, you are just not him anymore. There's a reason why we got rid of you the first time. There, the reason is that you are a little long in the tooth. You're a little over the hill. You got a little gray in the beard. Running back's life in the NFL is five, four, five years. Dak, sorry, Zeke, you're out of here. And then Brandon Cooks is out. Infection in his knee. This could linger on for the rest of the season. I don't know how in like he got the infection in his knee, whether he had his knees, 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 knee scoped or got a cut or something. But that infection could lead into something more serious. I mean, the infection was so bad that he had to go to a doctor and get it drained out, right? And like and like and fixed. Dallas Cowboys should be on the phone with the Las Vegas Raiders right now. Devontae, what do you want for him? It doesn't matter. We're all in right now. Max Crosby, what do you want? Hendrickson from the Cincinnati Bengals. Who do you want? Like, how do we get him? Guys, it is a panic time in Dallas. So, guys, I got to ask the question. Is it time to panic in, in, in Dallas, or is it time to just be patient? Let the system ride. Let it ride out. Let it ride out. Let it ride out. James Frank says they are not America's team. If they're not America's team, then who is? If you say the Green Bay Packers, I will drive to Cleveland right now and kick you right in the toe. I will bring a sofa 
put it in front of you and force you to kick that sofa five times in a row with your pinky toe. Do not say the green, green Bay Packers. Do not say the Cleveland Browns. Do not say the San Francisco 49ers. The only team that could pu- that could potentially compete with the Dallas Cowboys right now, honestly, are the Las Vegas Raiders or the Kansas City Chiefs. But Dallas Cowboys are America's team until proven otherwise. Until proven otherwise. Lorik says they are in panic mode no matter how you look at it. No matter how you slice this egg, they're in panic mode. Whether you dice it, whether you slice it, whether you masseuse it or bacaduce it, they're in panic mode. Panic mode in Dallas. Panic, 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 panic mode in Dallas. Perarda says, hey, from Chicago. What up, what up, what up? Hope you hope you are joining us. Hope you're having a grand old time, having a great day. Be sure to hit the like button. Show just a couple friends as well. You got the new little hand, so I think you're a uh, new follower. So welcome, welcome, welcome. James says, I think I picked the Steelers to beat the boys this week in the pick em. Well, James, let's find out for you real, real, real quick here. Let me pull up the Excel sheet, bada bing, bada boom. And we are going to look at James Frank's uh, thing. You are line number six, James. And you do have the Steelers beating the Cowboys. You do have the Steelers beating the Cowboys. There's only one person that has the Cowboys winning this weekend over over the Pittsburgh Steelers, and that is Kaylee. Kaylee Johnson is the only one that has the Cowboys beating the Pittsburgh Steelers this weekend. I will have the Cowboys beating the Pittsburgh Steelers this this weekend. Laura says, I I know the I know that I picked the Steelers over the Cowboys as well, like 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 as well. And James says, Yep, it is time to have a heart attack in, in Dallas. Got I, th- I think I think I saw 10 players on the on the on the IR. Um Brandon Cooks is out. Zeke is terrible. Hell, just put Deuce Vaughn in at that point. My boy from the Kansas State University. I, like, I got my flag back there. I got my college helmet. Put Deuce in there. Put Deuce in there. James says KC is America's team right now. And never say never Green Bay. <laughs> never say Green Bay. So, guys, is it time to panic in Dallas? 100%. I think it's 100% time to panic in Dallas, 100%. And Jim wants to chime in and say the Dallas Cowboys have been in panic mode since 1998. Put that panic up there. 1998. Jim, half of these people haven't weren't even born in 1998. Weren't even 